All right, welcome back. So we're gonna do the final part and that's gonna be blending between these states and not making it too annoying. So last time we left off, we were over here and I'm just gonna copy and paste what I did in C++. Honestly, it's just, they're both such similar languages. If I do it in one, it's just a copy and paste in the other. So what are we gonna do? Uh, first things first, I am going to make it into a state machine so this was a state switch and what happened was you were to switch using inputs but what this happened was this became a convoluted situation because we need these as our transition states so we need them in here so like if we were to press them here it's gonna switch to another state if we were to press it here it's gonna switch to another state so what we're gonna do is we're gonna revamp this so it's not over here it's actually all in here and then it's gonna be inside this function and we just have to see it and every time we need to use it it'll be just this function that will take care of it and everything else will fall under that so first things first we need our weight again and then we also need one more thing it's a bool and we're just gonna say is weight changed and we're gonna make it into false that's easy and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add one more state and we're gonna call this one uh, previous state and we're gonna call that as anim state dot idle that's gonna be our previous state so the next thing we're gonna do is um, go down here and we're just gonna remove the procedural because we don't really need the procedural we just need idle walk reverse walk and run and we're gonna do this setting from idles walk reverse walk and run so first let's just copy this I think this was the one we're gonna copy all of this okay and we're just gonna add this inside our idle state so once we press W and shift the state equals to run we also need one more thing and that's going to be a weight uh, resetter because what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the weight right here let's just copy this function and we're gonna keep it right here I'm gonna mute these mute all this actually all this is muted so we don't use it so this is the only thing that's gonna be in the code and what I'm gonna do is now we have our weight that's automatically going to one and we need a function that we call like uh, void reset weight and inside this function we're just gonna be uh, uh, is weight changed we're gonna make it equals to true and then if is weight changed so if it's true weight equals to zero so that resets it and then is weight changed equals to false so that just resets it and we're gonna add that before every time we change our switch so we're gonna do a reset weight so it resets the weight turns our state into run and then our previous state equals to the state that we are currently in so we're in idle it's going to keep that previous state now where are we going to use this previous state if we just copy it right here and if you look into the lerp layer we have a destination which we're not going to change um the layer zero is going to be our layer that we are going to be from previous and layer one is going to be the current layer and then the float weight is weight so we're going to switch our uh, previous layer into underscore previous state oh yeah just do a little hint here and then just keep doing that for all of them once that's done and then we're going to change this to weight so now we have a little function where if we're idle and we press W and the shift at the same time, resets the weight, um, turns the state into run, and then the previous state is recorded as idle. So now it's going to blend from 
idle to run and it's gonna do in a wait from zero to one like a natural one and then we'll do one more or we'll do two more so the second one was if we were to just press w it should go to walk so we're just gonna do that the walk and then right before we switch it we reset wait and then state equals to walk and then previous state equals to the idle state okay and then the last one we're gonna do is just copy and paste this and instead of w it's gonna be not w it's gonna be s and we're gonna do reverse walk and then previous state is idle and that takes care of our idle now for our walk let's just write this if we were to release is key up so once we release w our previous our current state will change to idle so it's going to switch from um, walk but by releasing w is going to change it to idle and then our previous state which is the state that we are in is going to be the walk state and then let's say if we had to press uh, shift it's going to change from walking to running so this one's going to be a shift it's going to be walk and then is going to switch to run so those are our two things so if we were to release w while we're walking and we release the walking button it just stopped walking and if we were to hold shift or if we were to press shift it's going to go into the running state and once we're in the running state uh, let's do that later actually let's do s so if i were to press s it was gonna go into reverse walk so let's say if I were to just copy this one so if we if I were to release s the state should go back to idle and the previous state should be the reverse walk now what about run if I were to release shift all right if I were to just release shift okay the state should go to walk and the previous state should be run but if i were to release the w which is our front button the state should go to idle and previous state should still be run and that should be perfect all right i was interrupted but now we're done okay so that should be perfect the last thing we're going to do is actually go up here into our current state and we're going to reset that to idle it was written as procedural and it wouldn't work so first you actually have to be in the state machine itself and the first state is idle so once you once you do that so now we can see that our weight went all the way to one and if i press w he's gonna reset the weight and it's gonna go to one now once i release it it's gonna go back down press it go down if i were to <laughs> looks like we have some errors here but if i were to just check it out we're good our biggest error right now is our uh, i guess the checking between our running button and we can fix that soon but anyways so we got our little state machine working with the reverse walk and if i release it the blend front walk blend and the only problem is our running button so we're gonna fix that and i found the problem it was supposed to be is key up because once we release these buttons it should go back into our settings and that should fix it so now we got idle we press it and it's gonna go to run release it he's gonna go to walk go run release it walk and we 
should be good hold shift and then press run he's gonna go straight to running now you can see a little mistakes here and there and that's because the running and the jogging animation are not in sync with the character they were from two different um, what's it called animation packs in Mixamo. If you have a whole animation pack and it's perfectly synced, you won't see that error. But for now, this was just for visualization, we have the blending correct. Now, you can see the blend was really slow. So what we can do is we can literally do a times multiplier. So let's say we had an int multiplier or like a float multiplier, and it's gonna speed up right here. So if we were to just do a times two here, times four, four times faster. This one's going to be a three. Let's just do it like that. Probably like five times faster. Now, if we were to do it, it's gonna be much faster. All right, I'm gonna go faster, faster. Ran too fast, but he's okay. All right, not bad, not bad. It's much better, much more fluid, and the weight is changing perfectly over here. So this is the more lazier version of making a state machine. It is a state machine because everything is compiled into the state or the logic is into a state. Now there are other ways of making a state machine and there are much more uh, structured ways, more stable. This one's more for showing you guys the power of a LERP layer the power of weight blending and just a simple switch you don't really need to use this um, this was just for demonstration purposes but if you want to go ahead go ahead it's not a bad way of writing it it's just not the ideal version of writing it so some people might get a little like you know analytical about it but that's up to you if you need it to work and this fits you go ahead and use it but until then i think that's enough for animations what we're gonna do next it would probably be making a gun i guess at least make a game fun what's the fun in just running around in the world if you can't move it so that's gonna be our next part and in order to use all of that well, we'll have to do something up. I'll, fi I'll figure something out. But until then, see you guys. I'll see you next week.